Tonight, there's a deadly mystery in Arlington. A community is shocked after a longtime neighbor was found dead at the bottom of his pool tonight. And Jacksonville Fire Rescue says the man had been underwater for several hours. Brittany Dion is live outside the man's home tonight and has more now on the investigation. Brittany. Such a tragedy. Crime tape marked every corner surrounding this Arlington home just a few hours ago. Where I'm walking right now, detectives lined the block. Neighbors stood in the street trying to figure out if a crime was committed in their quiet community. Tonight, we're still unsure if a crime happened. But what we do know is a man was found dead in his pool at this home, and the community wants to know what happened. There was one man and that was that person was at the bottom of the pool. This home on Wickham Drive North in Arlington is where a 63 year old man was found dead. Neighbors say he lived on this block for a long time. They last saw him yesterday afternoon. How he died is a mystery. Sergeant David Smith with the JSO Homicide Unit says the man was possibly found by a family member around four Thursday afternoon. Neighbor Max Bell lives a few houses down. He says he's surprised this happened in this neighborhood. It's pretty quiet and haven't really seen any sort of issues um, as far as violent crime goes in this area. Bell says he didn't hear any disturbances all afternoon. Definitely quiet, definitely very quiet, so no, no gunshots. Investigators are not saying how the man died or who he is. Are you saying that foul play is suspected in this? No, I am not saying that right now at all. We spoke to another neighbor who did not want to be on camera, but says the man was a good guy who split his time between living in Jacksonville and Palm Coast. The neighbor says he was divorced and would come to the home a few days out of the week to work on the house and fix up the yard. Bell says this neighborhood is mostly retirees and older residents. And this general block is, is very, very close to that. I mean, Although Bell is not familiar with this particular neighbor, it's still a sad situation overall. And hopefully it wasn't anything foul play oriented and hopefully it's just a tragic accident, you know. Absolutely. And again, the police are not saying if foul play is suspected in this man's death. Of course, this is a developing story and we'll continue to keep you updated as we get more information. Live tonight in Arlington, I'm Brittany Dion, First Coast News. Brittany, thank you.